Right, this is Sheila. I can't remember if it's the 3rd or 4th of May 2016 and I'm on my way up Cadbury Hill at the moment looking over at Western Woods and the hill fort there. I'm looking from one hill fort to another basically. I got the bus to Congressbury and then walked up past the garden centre to a track taking me up. I've not been here before in my life so this is all a bit new. So I can see Western, I can see Breen and I've come up some track. There's no, there's no signposting so I'm doing a video <laughs> that you go by. There's no signposting as such so I'm sort of um, having to find my way which is fun. Let somebody go by a minute. I don't know if I've got them on the video or not. So I'm walking along this gentle path and um, a lovely house sat in the top there. They said it shouldn't rain but there are some quite big clouds around. Now whether this is the main path I don't know. Well, that looks like somebody's garden down there. There's no, there was no signs. Once you, there was one sign back by the road, but there's no arrows, and you don't find that this is very well signposted to get here. It's like can um, they don't want a lot of people up here. I mean, it is a well-known fort, Cadbury Hill, Cadbury Hill Fort. But of course I printed off a load of stuff the other day and can't find it so that I could have information but never mind it'll come in handy post walk so this is just the first video I said I don't know where I'm going there's no sign posts ah there we go there is a sign now there's a sign now look and I'm going to go up there, I'll turn off after this, take some photos. So here's our old sign, look with old Anglo-Saxon symbols on there, look. Cadbury Hill, site of the Dark Age hut. So I don't know where, if I'm on this bit, I could be on here, or I could be going that way around, who knows. The Fort of Cabri Hill was built about two and a half thousand years ago and it went out of use during the Roman occupation of Britain but was subsequently resettled during the Dark Age. Iron Age beginnings 800 BC to 43 AD. It was probably occupied by members of the Dubunny tribe. Gradually they developed their hill fort settlement into a fortified camp by constructing multiple ditch and rampart system of earthwork defences topped by stone by a stone wall rampart. Cabri Congressbury is one of five like named Iron Age forts in the southwest. The name is Anglo Saxon and means Cadder's Camp. Celtic tribes of the southwest the Doe Bunny tribe, although based in the Cotswolds, seem to have been in conflict with the Juro Triggs from Dorset and South Somerset over possession of the Mendip Hill territory. So there's another picture of that, and there's some artifacts, and there's an artist's impression of a Dark Age hut. Recent excavations only uncovered its Iron Age beginnings, but also something facts about its subsequent history. Despite the Celts fierce something, their hoyle foots were a poor defence against the highly trained Roman legions. Thus Cadbury Hill, like most others, was abandoned during the Roman occupation. Nevertheless, under a stable Roman administration, the Congress region experiencing a flourishing growth in population, settlement and land use. Recent ev evidence of large numbers of lowland settlements dating this period, from, including 
groups of kilns. To the north of the hill is Henley Wood. A pagan Roman temple was built. After it fell into ruin in the 5th century, local people who'd been converted to Christianity were buried at the site over earlier pagan graves. Cabri Hill in the Dark Age. AD 410 to 700. Unlike most other hill forts, Cabri Congress regained a new lease of life in the Dark Age with large-scale reoccupation. Evidence of several rectangular as well as circular buildings have been found. Cabri was a Dark Age settlement of some importance. An intriguing find from this period was the foundations of a very large circular hut. It seems to have had a ritual purpose of some kind, but it is not known if this was Christian or pagan. Oh, hi. Saxon Congressy, AD 700 to 10. The nearby settlement of Congressby was founded in the Saxon era by St. Conger, a Celtic holy man from Cornwall. According to legend, St. Conger plunged his staff into the ground whereupon it took root. To this day, there is an ancient yew tree in the churchyard known as St. Conger's walking stick. Such a miracle persuaded in the Saxon king of Wessex to grant land for a monastery. As a scheduled ancient monument, Cadbury Hill is a protected site. Visitors wishing to dig or use metal detectors must seek permission. Right, so I've done a little bit of a commentary there. I'll just zoom in on that one. That's more That's more about the wildlife there, look. Woodpeckers and things. It's a local nature reserve. Right, I'm going to turn off for a minute. Take some photos. Over and out.